A lot of you guys have voted on Instagram to see a tutorial on how to shoot pictures in front of a black background that you can do at home or anywhere in the world. And if you want to be part of future polls and more behind the scenes, make sure to follow us on Instagram as well. So let's get started. Like I've already mentioned, this setup is highly portable and we've used it a number of times to actually go to clients and shoot business portraits of their employees at their facilities. But even in times where everybody has to stay at home, you can actually use the same setup in your living room if you want to. And that's what we did today. Let's start with a backdrop. We're using a very affordable and also foldable version by a company called Valimax. And you can get this on Amazon for around 50 bucks. It's big enough to shoot mid shot portraits or even the occasional full body shot. And it can also be easily stored away for transport if you know what you're doing. If you don't have a background like this, you can use whatever black background is available to you. This could be a black wall or even a black bedsheet. In order to easily bring the background in place, we're using an inexpensive light stand with a clamp attached to actually hold the background. And I will link all the products that we're using for this shoot in the description below, so make sure to check them out once this video is over. So let's talk about lighting now. We're using a two-point lighting system. One to illuminate our model and the other one to separate her a little bit from the background and fill in some of the shadows of her face. As our main key light, we're using a LED light by a company called Linkstar. We also attached a softbox to it with a honeycomb grid to minimize the spill onto our background to keep it as black as possible. And also get a soft light to illuminate the model's face. This runs you about $300 on Amazon and we also had a full review that I will link up here so you can check it out later if you want to. I placed the light at around 45 degrees above her head on the one side to actually create a little bit of a shadow on the other side of her face. On the exact opposite, we're using a continuous light again. This time it's the V100 panel by a company called Golden Eagle Photo. And this one comes perfect for our use case as a rim light because it already comes with barn doors attached. So we have full control over the direction of our light and again can minimize the spill onto our background to get that deep black we're looking for. And this also runs you about $300 on Amazon. This light we also placed in around 45 degree angle on eye level and this time pointing it towards her face because we don't really want to separate her torso too much from the background and just fill in the shadows of the right side of her face. To get this low key feeling that we're going for in this portrait, it's also highly recommended that your model wears something black so that we can get this seamlessly blending into the background look that we are going for here. Of course, you can have her wear a more contrasty kind of color and ramp up the rim light to actually separate her more from the background, but this would definitely be a different style of portrait. So this is just the equipment that we are using. And if you don't really wanna use continuous light and you rather wanna go for strobes or whatever kind of lighting you had, you're actually free to do. And this is just the way we do it. And now let's get these pictures into post-production. As you can already see here, due to our setup, we don't really need to do a lot to this picture. We don't need to further darken the background or cut out any non-black edges or corners. To process this image, I only used Lightroom. And as I already said, I didn't really do too much to it. I just ramped up the clarity a little bit, played around with highlights and shadows and added a tiny bit of a vignette to get a little bit of more contrast into the image. All I did afterwards was just the basic retouching of her skin and her eyes. And that's pretty much it. And if you're interested in a tutorial about our retouching process, let me know in the comments below because we can arrange that. But that's it. 
That's as simple as it gets and you can do this at home or anywhere in the world as well. And I hope you like this kind of behind the scenes and I hope to bring more to you in the future. And if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, give the video a thumbs up and I will hope to see you on the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.